If you are comparing the Upper Baby Ridge and the Truly Urban Glide 2, this is the video to watch because I'm going to be breaking down all the differences between these two strollers. I'm Ellie from Badger Beans Videos. I review and compare strollers and car seats and baby gear on YouTube. Nice to meet you if this is your first time meeting me. We produce videos every week so you can stay up to date on what's happening in baby gear. So I highly encourage you to subscribe today. Great. Up a Baby Ridge just came out in the end of 2021. A main difference between the Ridge and most of the other running strollers on the market, inclu including the Thule Urban Glide 2, is that there are not air-filled tires on these. 16-inch wheels on the back, 12-inch wheels on the front, which is pretty typical for a running stroller, an all-terrain stroller, but these are puncture-proof EVA-filled tires which is cool. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with the air filled tires, but if you did go over a nail or a screw or something like that, like normal, like air filled tires do, it could puncture, replace the inner tube, not a big deal, but that will never happen with the Ridge. Um, let's talk about the handlebar. There's this really cool ergonomic handlebar and this brake that's sort of integrated into the handlebar onto the Thule. There is a more traditional handbrake on the Ridge, but they have these really awesome disc brakes on the Ridge, which are, are fashioned after what they have on mountain bikes. So they're really thinking about that outdoor, go and seek your adventure type of a type of engineering. And that's what they really instilled into the Upper Baby Ridge. Um, both of these strollers, have the ability to add a newborn safe bassinet. It's something that is specific for the Thule. When you buy one for the Thule, it only works on the Thule Urban Glide 2. But if you have a Vista or a Cruise and a bassinet for one of those, that same bassinet that's for those strollers also works on the Ridge. Let me fold both of the strollers for you so I can compare how these fold. So both of them have are folded from the front. So with the Thule Urban Glide 2, you open up the front, you pull towards the right, you turn the knob, and then you, it's more of a, it's not really a knob, it's more of like a twisting mechanism. We're gonna call it a twisting mechanism. You turn the twisting mechanism, and now you have it standing on its own, ta-da. Now, with the Ridge, a very similar situation, you open up that compartment, you look for the button, you turn, and it folds up and it stands on its own as well. So both of these strollers stand on its own. To open this back up, you twist that sort of twisting situation again and it opens back up. And for this, there is a sort of a close and you just open it up and now you are good to go. In terms of locking the front wheel, there is a gray mechanism that you go from lock to unlock so that you can lock it when you're running. You want an elongated stationary wheel when you're running. It makes the stroller less like jiggly and wiggly. Um, there's no tracking mechanism, so it's, you can't get it like perfectly straight, though it is like a very well engineered product. But with the Ridge, you can turn, you can obviously lock it out. And then there's this little metal tracker that makes it straighten, so you can always have it perfectly straight. Um, they're great accessories that come along that you can buy as accessories with a Ridge, like a piggyback, which enables you to put a second child on this really seamlessly. Um, two nice things about both strollers is that they have um, closed baskets. So your stuff doesn't fall out. If you're running it in the rain, things are not gonna get wet. When you fold down the stroller, things aren't going to fall out. So that is a really cool um, feature of both of these strollers. Let's do some measurements. So the greatest length, it is 16 inches and it goes down to sort of 14 inches. You can see it sort of gets sort of smaller and more into this sort of triangular shape as it goes down. With the Ridge, it's all 16 inches and it goes down to, like it stays pretty much about 16 inches so it doesn't get more narrow. But I think that's probably going to be fine for the size of your child. In terms of the seat length, this goes up to, you can see it gets bunched on the top but it's a 20 inch high in terms of the Truly Urban Glide 2. And then in terms of the um, Ridge, it is um, 19 inches high. So it's a little bit taller for the Urban Glide than it is for the Ridge. In terms of the weight of the stroller, this is a little bit over 25 pounds and this is a little bit over 29 pounds. So the Ridge is definitely a little heavier than the Urban Glide 2, but they're both way in under 30 pounds. 
you know, anyway, slice it, I highly recommend that you get a lightweight stroller to go along with one of these strollers for just in and out of the car, really quick trips. Neither of these strollers are strollers that you might wanna keep in your trunk. Now, um, if you are shopping for strollers and you're still confused, I have a roundup of my favorite best strollers of 2021, which I recommend that you watch after this video. Did you like this? If you did, please give us a like. It makes a huge difference for our channel. And don't forget to subscribe today. See you at the next video. Thank you.